Wow. Yeah, unfortunately, Morgan, we have a level five. That's the highest risk of severe weather for Oklahoma into southern Kansas today. And we don't see these often. In fact, the last time one of these was issued was March 31st of 2023. Mm -hmm. And in my career, I've only seen this happen about 10 times. Wow. Yeah, so uh, definitely gearing up for one of those one of those days where you just have to pay really close attention to the weather. So we are kind of on the southern edge of that threat and we have a strong cap in place. We talk about a cap very often in the springtime and this is really going to limit any thunderstorm production. However, if we do happen to overcome the cap, which right now it does not look likely. We could see an isolated storm or two with damaging winds and large hail. The threat is highest the closer you are to the Red River. I'm going to pan out, though, and show you where that level five is. It does include Oklahoma City, just south of Wichita. It includes a big stretch of the I-35 corridor in Oklahoma. Now, this is for the potential of strong, long-lived tornadoes, very large hail up to softball, and strong damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour. It's important to note, not everyone in Oklahoma will see a storm today, but these storms that do take shape in this area have the potential to quickly turn severe and dangerous very quickly. So definitely having a plan in place and alerting your friends and family that live in this area or maybe even travel in this area. Give them that heads up that today is going to be one of those days we need to pay close attention. But like I mentioned here, we have a strong cap in place. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be warm. It's going to be humid, but we have an elevated layer of stable air that's going to limit thunderstorm production. Let me show you this. This is one model at Monday, two in the afternoon. We could see a few of these isolated storms popping up with these storms. I'm not expecting them to be severe. The storms that are more likely to be severe are going to take shape along a dry line to the west of the area, and those storms are going to struggle to move in. Let me show you that. This is Monday at 4. Still those few isolated pop-up thunderstorms along our far eastern counties. Let me now take you to about 5, 6. Look at this. No thunderstorms taking shape here. Of course, we're going to be paying close attention because that threat is very close to us, and we could very well see one of those storms uh, develop just south of the Red River. But the threat is much higher to our north. So again, we'll be watching closely even into the late overnight hours where the threat still stays pretty elevated. See that just uh, behind that banner uh, around midnight. We could see a, uh, an additional uh, potential for rain come Wednesday and Thursday. Our Weatherford camera right now showing 79 degrees. It's a little cloudy out. Uh, we are going to continue to have that muggy feel in the air really today, tomorrow and the rest of the week. Right now, 76 degrees at DFW Airport with a southeast wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. High temperature today of 83 degrees. That happens in Fort Worth and in Dallas, about 85 in Denton, 82 in McKinney. Some temperatures get very close to the 90 degree mark along our western counties. I think areas in the Metroplex will get there come Tuesday and Wednesday. For us, we'll likely see about 89 degrees. I'm not going quite 90 yet until Wednesday. That's close to 10 degrees above what's considered normal for this time of the year. Back during that humidity, it's going to feel like it's in the upper 90s come Wednesday. But we have a cold front that comes in. That cold front does bring our next opportunity for rain. And unfortunately, because it's springtime, also the potential for strong to severe storms. As of now, it doesn't look like everyone sees it, but this is for Wednesday. Most of North Texas under that level two slight risk, but the threat does look higher along our northeastern counties towards Arkansas. That's all because of a dry line that takes shape and a cold front approaching. This is Wednesday four in the afternoon. We see about 30% coverage of rain here. That front sinks to the south. It keeps about 30% coverage of rain in the area this middle part of the week, and we'll continue to see it on Thursday. We could still adjust the rain coverage as we get closer, but we're not going to pick up a whole lot of rain up to about a half of an inch for some spots higher the more east you are. Again, today we have that small potential to see a few storms, uh, but the the risk is much higher north of the Red River. Temperature gets close to 90 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday. It stays pretty warm and muggy, but this weekend, Mother's Day weekend, upper 70s looking a lot better. Morgan getting right just